In this video, I'm going to show you a simple but at the same time very creative and honestly very effective defense that you can use against the Gun Bunch to get some really unique types of pressure concepts that are going to be very effective against the Gun Bunch meta. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the YouTube channel. Make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of these important videos. All right, guys, so the nickel triple is one of my favorite defenses. I think it's I think it's one of the better defenses. There's really two or three uh, defenses that, in my opinion, are really, really top tier. The 3 through 5 wide, the 2 4 5 odd, and then the nickel triple. And the cool part is, in the Chicago playbook, all three of those defenses are available to you, as well as a base nickel 3 through 5 will, which is not too shabby in and of itself. So the Nickel Triple, I just released a defensive ebook on this. If you want to get the entire Nickel Triple defensive guide, it's on sale for just $15. It's a one-time purchase. It's going to update throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. We're actually getting ready to put a couple of update videos in it uh, this week. So the Nickel Triple is really one of the better defenses in the game. So let's dive into the video today, and if you want to get the full guide, it's in the description. This setup is really simple. It's basically two adjustments. One of my favorite things about Nickel Triple is that oftentimes you can set your defenses up really, really, really quickly. So the play is Cover 3 Sky. You can do this out of any play in Nickel Triple, but I personally prefer the Cover 3 Sky because I think it's the safest coverage to run this out of. And all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz, and we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. That's it. And then we're going to take this deep safety, as you can see right here, and we're going to kind of stand like right here, okay? Right here. You could put him on a blitz if you want, or you could just leave him on his zone, and we're going to hold left trigger, and we're basically going to kind of move forward just for step, and then we're going to jump into coverage. So move forward, and then jump into coverage, and as you see, you're going to get at least the very minimum, you're going to get this A-gap uh, pressure looping in like from a crossfire perspective, okay, at the very minimum. Now, oftentimes what I get in this is I get a gap and I get double a gap. I either get edge heat like that, or I get double a gap from the crossfire blitz and from that nose tackle over there on the left side. And again, sometimes you have to blitz your user to kind of get this to work. But as you can see, that, that time we got a gap and edge. You're not always going to get pressure from the same like area I found with this formation because it's kind of a glitchy defense. Um, but there you see, and there's the, there's the a gap. He tripped up, but you saw, that's what I'm looking at. So that combined, they, they all kind of work together out of this formation. And that's, what's interesting. Um, that's honestly one of my favorite parts about the formation. So you see here, just run down. That's how we got the loop, the looping a gap. You're going to get at least one. You're probably going to get two free the majority of the time you run this play in uh in game i find that this is one of my favorite blitzes to run because it's really simple to set up and it's really good against like a blocked running back or a blocked tight end so let me show you what happens whenever our opponent decides that they want to block a running back now you have a couple of options that you can do but i just want to show you this base rush if they block their running back oftentimes as you see he's going to step up and he's going to block that blitzer that is on the left side of the screen which is normally going to leave room for a disengage to happen on the backside of the play. So you'll see something to this extent, and we'll just do this, and at the snap of the ball, as you see here, um, we didn't get anybody coming clean there, but for the most part, you're going to get really good sheds with this formation, and that's one of the beauties of this. Again, we're just simply showing blitz and blitzing our linebackers down. And oftentimes, you'll see there is the A-gap and double edge heat. So that's the beauty of this formation. And again, it works a lot better in game because what happens is, for whatever reason, if you don't use the unpredictable ability, um, sometimes a lineman will kind of learn, oh, he's coming through this gap every single time, so they'll adjust to that. But if you use the unpredictable ability in, in Ultimate Team, oftentimes I find that this defense becomes significantly better significantly better uh within this so again let me show you one other setup here and that's to take the the linebacker on the left and just man him up on the running back and then we're going to blitz the safety this is one of the best six man pressures in the game it's going to come in against max protect bunch um, as you see there you get a gap pressure with the running back blocking that's that's pretty good heat so you can kind of if, if they start to block the running back that's an adjustment that you can do you could just man the running back up with the linebacker that's in the gap and then just blitz the safety 
And what you'll see is if they're blocking the running back, you're oftentimes going to at least get something. You're going to get edge heat, A gap. You're going to get something. So that's what's so good about the nickel triple. And even if you don't get any pressure, I found that this formation is probably one of the best formations in the entire game for shed D. Uh, I find the shed D to be incredibly effective out of this. Um, and as you see there, that's what you're, I think, the more consistent is that looping A gap pressure combined with edge heat. To me, one of the better blitzes in the game. There's so much of things um, that you can do from this formation to make it even better. But I absolutely love this defense. I wanted to share this blitz with you. It's a real simple setup. It's literally two clicks, and you're able to then adjust your coverage from there. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full nickel triple defensive ebook, it's on sale in the description of this video for just $15. And again, I want to remind you that we're going to update that guide throughout the course of the season as things change, as we find new concepts. Anything we need to update with you guys with if the game gets patched, we'll always keep you apprised of everything going on in this defense. But as it sits right now, this is probably my favorite defense to run in the game. It's very balanced. It's good against the run. It's good against the pass. And you can obviously send some incredible, incredible pressure out of it. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full nickel triple defense, it's on sale in the description. Just go down there, click the link, and it'll take you right to the website where you can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks.